Welcome to us at Blackstone Thane by Phil, and of course, I'm Phil. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please hit like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll get back to you. Enjoy the video. Tonight, what we're having is boneless pork ribs. I'm looking forward to cooking this. I got the griddle heating up. I've already got my zucchini and squash on the griddle and uh, on low. Let's put this on here. We're gonna let it sear just a minute or two. About two minutes on each side. You get a little, little sear, not much of a sear. And then let me tell you what I put on it. I put garlic powder, well, olive oil, garlic powder, a little bit of salt, not much, pepper, and hey, it's gonna taste great. It's, it's all you need. And uh, I did put a lot of sauce on it. We're gonna add a sauce at the end. And uh, so I'm letting this sear right now. The vegetables, they're on low. Let them cook a little bit. And we'll, I'm gonna show you what's, in just a couple of minutes, we're gonna flip this thing over. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. Okay, it's time to flip this over. We're gonna flip it over. All right, it's looking great. Let it cook for about a minute. And then uh, I can already smell it. Look, it, it smells great. Uh, the vegetables are going. And what I'm gonna do is, is something like a reverse sear. And so what I'm gonna do is, uh, while this is cooking on this side, I'm gonna put a little bit of water around it, cover it up. And that's gonna help it to cook all the way through evenly. And this will be on here for like about five minutes. And I'll keep a check on the temperature. That's what you need to do, keep a check on the temperature. And then uh, we're gonna flip it over and we'll have to continuously flip it. So it won't just cook on the bottom side to the top, it'll, it'll cook evenly. So stay with me and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's flip this over while it's still under the dome. dome. Yeah, it's getting done. Need a little bit more water around the edges. Create that steam. It's about another five minutes and we'll start checking on temperature. And uh, the vegetables are almost, the zucchini and squash, they're almost done. And uh, I'm gonna push them to the side. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's flip this over. Oh yeah, it smells great. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Get some steaming, more steaming action. Let it be cooking up through, make it tender. It's gonna be great. And then we're gonna take this off and we'll finish it up. And uh, the zucchini and squash, they're almost done. I'm gonna push them to the side. But I'm, my main focus is on the ribs. All right, we'll be right back. All right, let's take the dome off. Let's uh, check the temperature. Uh, the correct temperature on the pork will be about 145. This is the greatest tool ever. It's instant, it gives you the exact internal uh, temperature of the meat. We're way off, it's 115, so we need to keep going. But I'm taking the dome off, and we're just gonna keep it flipping. It's gonna take a little bit of time. It's gonna be great, it smells great. I can't wait to eat it. I'm gonna push my vegetables over here to the side a little bit. Well, they're not quite like I want them, so we're gonna wait a few more minutes and, uh, and turn the heat up on this a little bit. Uh, the it, should, it should be about done on the inside, but uh, it won't take long. And we're gonna show you a trick that's gonna make it taste great. Stay with me. All right, let's check it one more time. Okay, it's exactly 145 here, uh, 150 there, actually 155 there, so it's, it's done. I'm cutting this back, and here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use the McMaster's hog sauce. This is great barbecue sauce. It don't have a great big uh, giant flavor where it takes away from the taste of the ribs itself. So I'm gonna pour this on here. All right, I'm gonna flip it over. Let's let that steam and cook a little bit. Oh, wow, man, I tell you, it smells good right there. All right. That's it. That's all of it. I gotta go buy some more. 
I buy it up here at my local meat market, uh, Kenya's Meat Market in Mebbin. And uh, this is great stuff. I found it at a street festival. And I'll tell you, if, if you want some good barbecue sauce, it's not overpowering. Uh, it's uh, locally made. I'm telling you, it's great. So, okay, so let's flip it again. The barbecue sauce is caramelizing a little bit. It's going to get some great flavor. It's about done. So, I believe it's about, I guess it's about time to plate up. So, we're going to plate up right now. We'll be right back. Okay, we got it plated up, and I just want you to look at this right here. Don't that look awesome? I can't wait to get into it. Can't hardly wait. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe. Leave a comment. I'll get back to you. There'll be more videos coming. Have a great day.